It's a blessing to be here. Uh, my name is Pastor Joshua Muli, and we are blessed to know that Jesus is in control. We are greeting all our members and friends, wherever you are. May the peace of God be with you. We are living at critical moment, but God is still supplying us grace to overcome. And very soon we shall be out of this situation of corona pandemic. Philippians 4, verse 14 to verse 19. That it was good of, of you to share in my trouble. Moreover, as you Philippians know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in matter of giving and receiving, except you only. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Know that I desire your gifts more be credited to your account. And verse 19, I have received full payment and I have more than enough. I am amply supplied. Now that I have received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent, uh, the uh, fragrant offering, acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. And verse 19, the Bible says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Father, we thank you for this message. Thank you for this word. Thank you for what you are going to share with us. May you receive honor and glory, for I pray this in Jesus' name. So uh, we are looking at Philippian church. And in the midst of their trials, in the midst of their challenges, they were very generous people. Actually, it is like this church was uniquely blessed in the area of giving. When Paul came to this church, many of us may not remember how the gospel came to Philippi. That is the time he was with Silas, and they prayed for the girl who had the spirit of divination. And uh, that forced them to be jailed. They were beaten, and uh, many bad things happened. And at the end of it, the jailer was saved. And the gospel spread in the whole of Philippi. Then Paul left Philippi and went to Thessalonica. And immediately he went to Thessalonica, the Philippi church started supporting him. And from, from Thessalonica he went to Athens. From Athens he went to Corinth. And they still sent more supplies to him while preaching at Corinth. Let me tell you something about the Corinthian church. The Corinthian church was very rich. They were very much endured in matters of wealth. But God was still using the Philip, the Philippi people to supply to Paul as he preached to the Corinthians. It is like a Kenyan situation whereby a pastor or a missionary preaching at Karen or Runda is being supported by churches from Kibera or from Adare or from Mukuru Kwajenga. That was the situation. And afterwards, there was famine in Judea. And the church at Philippi pleaded with Paul that he may allow them to support the brothers who are suffering in Judea. And they went ahead. In the current situation, they have sent Epaphroditus all the way to Rome where Paul was jailed. And having delivered these gifts, Paul is so much encouraged. Paul is so much blessed and he pronounces a blessing to them. And so we can learn something from this church that uh, God used them in a special way to meet people's needs. Then Paul is thanking them. He is telling them, Philippians, I would like you to know that you are being very dear to me. You are being very good people. You have been supplying my needs. And when I was in the Salonica, you are the only people who met my needs. You stretched further. When I left uh, uh, Macedonia, you are the only church that supported me. Then he says, and my God will supply all your needs 
according to, your, to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. What Paul is doing here is accepting the gifts so that the Salonians may be blessed. Because every time we give, there's a way God reciprocates. There's a way God stretches his, his hand and meets our needs. He uses a commercial language of giving and receiving. There is a debit and a, and a credit. That he says, I am so much interested to what God may credit to your accounts. Then he continues to say, my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. So what determines how much will be credited when we give out is the riches God has in Christ Jesus. And what does God own? The Bible says silver and gold belong to him. Cattle in a thousand hills belong to him. Then he is able to supply every need that we have. I know we are living at a season when many people have lost their jobs, men don't have regular supply, but God is able to stretch his hand and supply to every need according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. So today, Paul is ministering to us. No matter what we are going through, no matter the challenges, God can still meet those needs according to what he has through Christ Jesus. Then uh, verse 20 is the doxology of the book, which is uh, just a short text that is usually sung in praise to God. What does verse 20 say? To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Paul burst in worship. He is worshiping God for he is able to supply all our needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. He is also thanking God for what the Philippians have done. They have touched his life and he can do nothing more than blessing them and blessing the name of of the Lord. And today, what is God saying to us through the situation of the Philippians? God is challenging us that we can still be a blessing to his work, even during hard times. We can still support his work through offerings and the tithes. When? During hard times. The Philippians were very poor. Then they were always looking for opportunity to support the work of God. They pleaded, they pleaded with Paul that he may accept their gifts. How I pray that today, even in the midst of luck, we may still stretch our hand and support the work of God. That we may do even more than is expected. They shocked Paul. He says in another chapter that they gave more than they had. He says also that they gave out of their poverty. He says that they gave themselves first, then they gave their substances to God. So as we look at the Philippian church, it was unique and it was unmatched in the area of generosity. So today, I'm encouraging the church that we continue supporting the work of God. And not only supporting the work of God, I also challenge us to uh, meet our needs within us. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6 verse 10, that as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, and especially those who have the household of faith, that we should be able to minister to our fellow brothers and sisters. I know you know somebody who is in need and this is the best time to reach out to them. This is the best time to minister to them. This is the best time to show the love of Christ to those who are in need. And for those who have been doing it, I thank God for you. I thank God that you have been consistent. I thank God that you have given again and again as the Philippians did. And I encourage you, don't be weary in doing good. The Bible says you will reap a harvest if you don't give up. This is not the time to give up. This is not the time to stop doing good. 
Do good as long as you have opportunity because if you don't give up, you will reap a harvest. And the Bible continues to say that um, we should uh, remember that God is not unjust. God is not unjust. In Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10, he is not unjust to forget the labor of love that we have shown to him by helping his people and we are still doing it. So let us continue knowing that God is not unjust to forget the labor of love that we have shown to him by helping his people and we are still doing it. David says, I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken and I have never seen their seed begging bread. What we are doing today to others will spill to our children. You help people today, God will remember your seed. God will remember your children. It is an investment. Paul says there is an aspect of giving and there is also an aspect of receiving. So what are we doing? May we be complaining every day, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have enough. You will never have enough. It takes a sacrifice. We don't give because we have a lot. By the way, we don't have a lot. And we may not have enough. But we give because it is an obligation by the word of God that we should give. Now, may the Lord open your eyes. There are needs God is showing you. There's a person, there's a family God is ministering to you about. And this is the time to show them love. Don't say when corona issue is gone, now I will help people. This is the best time to help. Hallelujah. Because why should you help me when I'm not in need? When I'm in need, that is the best time to help me. So this is the time. I encourage all of us, we give to the work of God. We touch people around us. Even our family members. Some of them may be suffering. And we have a duty to minister to them as God has enabled us. Maybe somebody is saying, me, I don't know the people I need. Uh, the Holy Spirit has not revealed. Let the Holy Spirit reveal to you now through me. Bring what you have to the church and we shall be able to reach the needy families. Even unbelievers are doing it. How much more should believers do it? Even other religions are doing it. How much more should Christians do it? The church at Philippi is giving us a good example what to do at a time like this by showing generosity. May the Lord help us as a church because what we have can help us a lot. God has blessed us in many ways and we can share what we have to other people and God will be glorified through the same. I want us to pray over the same even as we wind up. May we bow down and pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, may you help us. May you direct our minds. May you direct our thoughts. May you direct our, our ideas even to the people you would like us to touch. For we pray this trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning, members. We love you. We miss you. We miss your warmth in here. But we thank the Lord for you. I want to remind us of the message that we need to give and support the ministry. Let our giving be a sweet-smelling offering and well-pleasing unto the Lord. I want to give us the pay bill number. The pay bill number is 7120753. I repeat, 7120753. And please indicate whether you are giving, you are from Ongata Rongai Church or you are from Matasia Church or you are from Kisarian Church, indicate there as you pay in. May the Lord bless you richly.